asking if code sometimes requires a builder to knowingly do something stupid by prioritizing compliance over science, can anything be done to seek exceptions or engineering approvals for a better design? The answer is yes. The, uh, the building official has uh, complete authority and can interpret the code any way that they want. There have been many instances where the chief building official has accepted alternatives. Now, the chief building official usually asks for a second or third opinion. And usually that second or third opinion is going to be a licensed engineer or a licensed architect. Sometimes we get called in and ask, like, you know, hey, we don't know enough. Can we do, can we get Stebrick to do a peer review of, of something? Um, it's, it's fairly common. There are all kinds of huge buildings that get built where the building departments don't have enough information to do a review. They actually hire another famous structural engineer or famous architect to do a peer review. So the code people have that ability to do that. And peer review is more common than you think. But here's the key. You have to be nice to the building official. Don't be a Richard head, okay? Just, you gotta, don't go in there and, and say, you know, I'm smarter than you and you're dumb and whatever. That's not going to do the deal. You go in and be respectful and say, look, here's, here's why I want to do this. And don't pressure them to make the decision in five minutes. You know, let them ponder it. Nothing, you'll get crushed if you go in there with an attitude that the code is wrong, you're stupid, here's what I want, and I want to know right now. I'd hurt you with that, even if you were right, okay? No. Give them time. They're not evil. They want to do the right thing, and they know that the code is not perfect, and they're typically engaged. If they've been a code official for a while, they're actually on your side. They're not the enemy. But you have to be respectful, you have to have take time, and you have to have your information. And then give them the opportunity to research and ask questions.